हे देर गाइज वेलकम बैक और टूडेज टास्क इज लॉन्गेस्ट प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस वी हैव टू राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द लॉन्गेस्ट प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस अरेंज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर द इनपुट फॉर्मेट विल बी द फर्स्ट लाइन कंटेन्स द लेंथ ऑफ द सीक्वेंस एंड द सेकेंड लाइन कंटेन्स सीक्वेंस डेलिमिटेड बाय वाइट स्पेसिस एंड द आउटपुट फॉर्मेट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस आर प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंसेज वेयर द नंबर्स आर अरेंज इन असेंडिंग ऑर्डर प्रोग्रेसिवली फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन वन टू टू इज प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस बट वन टू वन इज नॉट अ प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस वाई बिकॉज वन टू वन इज नॉट अरेंज इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर हेयर वन कम्स आफ्टर टू सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द सीक्वेंस इज फाइव एंड वी हैव द इंटीजर्स वन टू वन टू टू सो हेयर वन टू टू इज द प्रोग्रेसिव सीक्वेंस सो दैट विल बी द आउटपुट सो फर्स्ट लेट सी द अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल ओनली वन टू वन टू टू हेयर विल यूज अ हेल्पर एरे टू स्टोर द एलिमेंट्स विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सो सपोज दिस इज आर एरे and the size of this array is not fixed okay we'll start from index 0 so our i is at index 0 currently we have 1 so we'll store 1 in this array then our i will increase and we got 2 so we'll store 2 and on what basis we are going to store the elements the last element of this array should be smaller than or equal to the current element okay so here our array is empty so we'll store 1 then we'll check 2 so 2 is greater than 1 so we'll store 2 then we got 1 so 1 is not greater than or equal to 2 so what we'll do here now here i'll store these two variables in another array so an another array will contain 1 and 2 and i'll clear this array and now i'll start from scratch so our first element of this array will be 1 let's name this array temp and this array anything like say nums so we'll clear our nums array and before that we'll store the elements of nums array in temp array temporary array okay now we got 1 so we'll store 1 in nums array then we got 2 so 2 is greater than 1 so i'll store 2 also and now we got 2 again so 2 is equal to 2 so i'll store 2 here and now our array ends and i'll check for these two array that is nums and temp array we have to return the longest progressive sequence so we'll check the length of both of these arrays and will return the array with greater length okay so this was the overview of the solution now let's get into coding here i have a class longest progression and i'll create a method static longest progression and this method will return an array list array list of integers i'm going to use here array list and not integer array okay and i'll pass our list in its parameter list integer r and now i'm going to initialize nums and temps so array list integer nums equal to new array list and integer array temp equal to new integer now i'll iterate over this list so for int i equal to 0 i less than r dot size i plus plus and firstly we'll check if nums is empty or not so if it is empty then i'll add the elements in nums so if nums dot is empty then nums dot add 
air dot get i else and here we'll check if our current element of air is less than the last element of nums so air dot get i is less than nums dot get nums dot size minus one so if this is the case then we'll do something else we'll add the current element in nums so else nums dot add air dot get i and if this case is true then i'll store the elements of nums to temp array so in array list we have a method to array which will store all the elements of an array list to an array so temp equal to nums dot to array and here we have to pass temp because this method returns object and temp is integer so we have to pass temp in its parameter then we'll clear the nums array list nums dot clear and then nums dot add r dot get i okay so this case is handled and now we have to return the array list so we'll check for length of nums and temp so if nums dot size is greater than temp dot length notice nums is array list and temp is array simple array okay so we'll return nums if nums dot size is greater than temp dot length we'll return nums else if temp dot length is greater than nums dot size then then i'll convert temp to array list by using the constructor of array list so return new array list arrays dot as list temp so we have to return array list here so i'll convert temp to array list if it has longest progression in it okay now let's write the driver code scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in i have to take the length of array as input so our first input was first line contains the length of the sequence so int length equal to sc dot next int now i'll initialize array list so array list integer r equal to new array list and for int i equal to 0 i less than length i plus plus int j equal to sc dot next int and i'll add j in array list so r dot add j and now i'll call longest progression method so longest progression and i'll pass r in its parameter and hold it in r variable so now I have to print the output. So for int i equal to 0, i less than r dot size, i plus plus, system dot out dot print, r dot get i plus space. And we'll import all the classes. So import java dot util dot scanner. import java.util.arraylist import java.util.list and import java.util.arrays now let's compile the code java c longest progression dot java okay so file is compiled now let's run java longest progression here let's enter the length as 5 and elements 1 2 1 2 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
टू ओके वी आर गेटिंग वन टू टू लेट्स चेक फॉर लेट्स ए फाइव लेंथ इज फाइव एंड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके सो वी आर गेटिंग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव we are getting the desired results okay okay so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further videos thank you